that is what actually creates in the world. And it also just like taught me like what the energy of faith does. And, and, you know, really like when we actually got the keys to our house, oh, it was so crazy. We had put on- I was wearing this onesie actually. Four day event and we're on stage. <laughs> We're doing the last day of the four-day event. And this is like the most trans. It is like just like completely rewiring of It's almost like everyone's on drugs at this point. Day Everyone four of magma. We're Am I right, guys? Day four of magma. And everybody knew that we were waiting on this. And we didn't know if it would happen or if it wouldn't. We still yeah. didn't know if it would happen or if it wouldn't. It was very last minute. And we yeah. get a call. And we basically like packed everything into the car, put it at this event. And we're like, we do not want to take this back to our old house. Like, we want to take this to the house we're buying. Like that's all I wanted was to be able to bring, like unload the stuff into our new house. And we get a call while we're standing on stage and calling in the directions. And it's uh, Lourdes. Lourdes, the lender. And uh-huh. she's like, yeah, you need to leave right now. Come on your house. <laughs> and... <laughs> Everybody, 75 people witnessed this. And then Michelle Zacherson runs over to the- the Thank you, Michelle. The, um, the speaker, the, the PA system, and puts a song on. Celebrate. And, they, and then they all Aww. put us up in the air and we they get- They crowd surfed us. They crowd surfed <laughs> 75 people. And this is, a, this is a dream of I've had since I was 18, like half my life, that Aww. I've had so many houses fall through. So to finally have my miracle happen with the most amazing timing, also teaching me like the most powerful lesson, mm-hmm. I, I understood what Stacy meant by Sherilyn makes miracles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I have to yeah. give all the credit to you guys, just even though I, I, I call myself a facilitator when it comes to that kind of stuff, but really the, the beautiful thing that I got to see was how much allowing you guys opened up to. There were so many things, like you guys followed my directions, you made the video, you connected with the family, right? That was like, oh my God, if that wasn't so fulfilling, I don't know what else was, but you're a level <laughs> of allowing you guys. I just kept telling you every time we would come into a challenge, I just said, this is it. Open up, let yourself allow more. What can, what can, what can be even better? And we got you, I don't know. We got you like so many credits, so many cool, oh my God. Credits, right? So many cool things. Like the most credits I've probably ever seen anyone get pretty much. You guys got the most wow. credits that are legally allowed to get. And it just, every step of the way, it was like, nope, just open up to more allowing, open up to more allowing. The lowest just, interest rate that just kept going lower and lower and lower, and lower, right? And that was the gift for the extension, right? Because the longer that the escrow went on, the more gifts you guys allowed for your life. So the, the, the longer we waited in trust, yeah. the better it got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was such, such a Lesson. Good lesson. It was such a good lesson. So it felt like magic all around, but that's that's the way it should be every day for everybody, in my in my opinion. Yeah. Agree. Guys, guys, I don't know <laughs> if you've seen our house, but this house is the shit. It it's is magical. It is. It is. Beautiful. It is, it is like we have a like I can't like a, a, our view from our backyard, from our kitchen. We wanted a view, like everything on the list. I can't even, it's just so much. It's so much. It's so much. It's, it's perfect. everything. I love it so much. I will yeah. give you a tour later. Every day we wake up and we go, I love this house. Every night we go to sleep and we go, good night house. I love this house. <laughs> well, that house loves you guys too. I felt it as soon as we went. I always know, right? When we walk in the house, I can feel it. It's like, uh, yeah. but you got to feel it. It's your house. But when I feel oh, it, do. it's so solid. Yeah. I remember the exact moment too, Sherilyn, you were here with us and we were down in that downstairs bedroom and you just looked at us and you're like, yeah, it's a no brainer. You're like, absolutely. This house yeah. is for you. It's yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you again, Sherilyn, so much for that whole experience. You're just one of the treasures of our heart forever now. We're never going to let you go. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. It's been an honor. It really has been. And it was a lot of fun. Honestly, it's always fun to work with people that, that are willing to take my advice, first of all, that I don't have to just like, <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit of a rough ride to get them to really connect to their own intuition and to open up and allow, but you guys did a phenomenal job and I'm really, mm. really, really proud of uh, what, who you became in the process, right? That was the yeah. biggest gift, like who you oh became. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The lesson that I learned in that process was like one that I will help me be a magical creator bigger and better for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk more about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Sherilyn, okay. everybody else can have that. Today? <laughs> yeah. So what I call um, legacy living is basically just finding a way to literally extract the magic out of your life, no matter what's going on. It's about, it's about feeling like life is on your terms, not waiting until tomorrow, not waiting until you're, you know, 10 pounds lighter, or you have the relationship or you have the money in the bank account finding a way to, to really extract the, the treasures, the richness, the magic out of life right now. And it's, for me, that's, that's a legacy life, just being able to be happy no matter what, and also loving yourself no matter what. When, when shit hits the fan, because it will, it's inevitable, then, you're, then you have the self-love and the self-care in place that you can deal with it. You can, you can love yourself through it, and you can get through it in a really... Um, less resistant way is the way I say it. So let's, I want to, I want to get into the application of that. Did you guys want to ask any more questions or anything before I get going? I, I kind of got lost and just like mm-hmm. asking it in your glory. Are there any <laughs> questions you want us to ask you? Well, I do have a question for you actually, yes. Cheryl. Okay. Ask um, away. Please. If people love your presentation and they want to connect more mm-hmm. with you after it's over, how can they find you? Yeah. So honestly, um, I'm, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. So Facebook, you can friend request me. Um, my, I have a website, SherilynJones.com, but most people I generally connect with one-on-one. So just friend request me or, um, go my, my, you know, like my business page, I'm not active on that. I mostly like to connect with people directly, but definitely feel free to friend request me and send me a message and I'll be happy to connect with you there. And you're welcome to check out my website too. I do have some cool things there as well, but um, mostly just, uh, just reach out to me on Facebook. Awesome. Cool. Cool. All right. Take it away, Sherilyn. Cool. So right now I know a lot of people, it's just like, you know, the world is going into this beautiful experience where we're having what I like to call a pause. We're just hitting the pause button. We're not hitting the stop button. It's just a pause. It's a time for you guys to recalibrate, to kind of reevaluate and reprioritize what's important to you. And the beauty of this moment is that there's so many gifts. There's so many beautiful things that are happening and it's about your ability to perceive them. And how you perceive them is through your state of being. So the lens that you always look through um, the world is through your frequency or your state of being. And that's just kind of like the culmination of your thoughts and feelings of what you're constantly thinking about or what you're constantly um, letting your mind focus on. And so what I mean is just simply being really deliberate about what you're giving yourself the time and the influence and the energy and making sure that you become a protector of that, meaning don't allow other people to influence you. Um, Be really selective with what you're allowing, what kind of information that you're allowing into your field of influence. And that goes goes to show with media or um, friends or family, you have the ability to tune things out. You really do. Or if anything, I love uh, Tony Robbins. He says that proximity is power. And basically who you surround yourself with, not just people, but information, environment, um, the the things that you allow into your mind are things that you're going to be repeating back or you're going to be kind of like regurgitating is the word that I like to say. It's going to be regurgitating in your environment and 